Just over a year ago, Hogwarts Legacy became a revolutionary title for video games. Many people went after the game, after content creators, after people that wanted to play this game. It became one of the best selling games of 2023, uh, if not the best worldwide. But everyone went after it because of JK Rowling. And recently, JK Rowling has kind of won a little few things over in Scotland. There's a new law that came into effect that uh, em emboldens hate speech. Hate speech being one of these things where you feel like it should be illegal, but it's not. And JK Rowling wins her complete immunity against these things. And now today on Twitter, JK Rowling came out with a, a amazingly penned description of what we were wondering really going on in the world for the gender policies that we have seen push forward and under hate speech laws. Before I read this entire post from JK Rowling, it's uh, imperative you subscribe to the channel. This is a ongoing thing that has been going on with JK Rowling. Uh, we played Hogwarts Legacy on this, on this channel. Thoroughly enjoyed the game. I think the game is uh, due for a, a revisit at this point, but it's very interesting where this is going to go soon. I'm I'm catching word of this about an hour after it was posted, so we'll have to wait to see where the media really goes. Maybe I'll be doing a follow-up to this. This is so well worded, I have to read it out here today. You've asked me several questions on this thread and accused me of avoiding answering, so here it goes. I believe a woman is a human being who belongs to the sex class that produces large gamies. Irrelevant whether or not her gamies ever been fertilized whether or not she carried a baby to term irrelevant if she was born with a rare difference of sexual development that makes neither of the above possible or if she's aged beyond being able to produce viable eggs she is a woman and just as much as a woman as others i don't believe woman is a more or less of a woman for having sex with them with a man woman both for not wanting sex at all i don't think a woman is more or less of a woman for having a buzz cut and liking suits and ties or wearing stilettos and mini dresses for being black white or brown for being six feet tall or a little person for being kind or cruel angry or sad loud or retiring. She isn't more of a woman for featuring in Playboy or being surrendered wife, or nor less of a woman for designing space rockets or taking up boxing. What makes her a woman is the fact of her being born in a body assumingly not has gone, gone wrong in her physical development, which as stated above, still doesn't stop her from being a woman, is geared towards producing eggs as opposed to sperm towards bearing the and the opposed a begetting children and irrespectively irrespective of whether she's done either of those things or ever wants to womanhood isn't a mystical state of being nor is it measured by how one apps sex stereotypes we are not the creatures either porn or the bible tell you we are Femaleness is not, as trans woman Andrea Shu long wrote, an open mouth, unexpected asshole, blank, blank eyes, nor are we God's afterthought sprung from Adam's rib. Women are provably subject to certain experiences because of our female bodies, including different forms of oppression, depending on the cultures in which we live. When trans activists say, I thought you didn't want to be defined by your biology, it's a feeble and transparent attempt at linguistic sleight of hand. Women don't want to be limited, exploited, punished, or subject to other unjust treatments because of their biology. But our being female is indeed defined by our biology. It's one's material fact about us, like having freckles or disliking beetroot, neither of which are represented of the entire beings either. Women have billions of different personalities and life stories, which have nothing to do with our bodies, although we are likely to have had experience men don't and can't because we belong to our sex class. Some pe people feel strongly that 
they should have been or wish to have been as seen as the sex class into which they weren't born. Gender dysphoria is very a very real, a, a real and very painful condition. I feel nothing but sympathy for anyone who suffers it. I want them to be free to dress and present themselves however they like, and I want them to have exactly the same right as every other citizen regarding housing, employment, and personal safety. I do not, however, believe the surgery or, or cross-sex hormones literally turn a person into the opposite sex, nor do I believe in the idea that each of us have a nebulous gender identity that may or, may or might not match our sex, sex bodies. I believe the ideology that preaches those tenants has caused and continues to cause very real harm to vulnerable people. I am strongly against women and girls' rights and protections being dismantled to accommodate trans-identified men. For the very simple reason that no study has ever demonstrated that trans-identified men don't have exactly the same pattern of criminality as other men. And because, however they identify, men retain the advantages of speed and strength. In other words, I, th I think the safety and rights of girls and women are more important than those men desire for validation. I sincerely hope that answers your questions. You may still disagree, but as I hope this shows, I'm more than happy to have this debate. Now, the, the funny part about this is how she's being trolled, kinda. Uh, have you ever pursued in writing? You are skilled. And JK Rowling responding to that, I've thought about it, but where would I fit it in? After a long day of cooking and shopping for shoes and lipstick, I only really fit good hormonal cry and in bed. Like this is where things have gotten. This is the, the rail or the train that we were on getting completely derailed. JK Rowling standing up for women's rights, standing up for what is ultimately what it should be at this point, a, a, a correction in what's been going on in the worldwide discussion on these things. Hogwarts Legacy, I thought was an amazing game. I think it still is. Um, a lot of people did not like it because JK Rowling created the world. I can't wait to see the HBO version of her show come out. It'll be very interesting in the coming years. But is Harry Potter, is this over? Is this going to be it? Are they going to throw away the key as they lock JK Rowling up? I don't think so. She's being hailed as a hero over this. And a lot of people, you, if you look at the view quotes, a lot of people are just out there saying it's absolutely sane and where things should have been. No rational and or sane person can disagree with anything said by JK Rowling here. Therefore, if you do, you are likely irrational and or insane. Let's leave it at that. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.